Luke Anderson, blockchain consultant at Kronobank, has answered our most up-to-date questions. Hello Luke, let's start with the main idea of the project. What is Kronobank from a technical standpoint? From a technical standpoint, Kronobank really... It's, it's, it's what we call a stable coin, whereby we, we tokenize something, for example, uh, there's an, another coin, Digix, which tokenizes gold. So gold's very uh, uh, difficult to pick up and carry around. Uh, so instead, we make a token that represents a piece of gold that's very easy to transfer. Right? Corona Bank does the same thing, but it does it for labor hours. It's very hard to take a, an hour of a person's time and move it around. So we tokenize that uh, and, and make it easy to transfer. Kronobank is expected to act as a guarantor of stable financial relations between employee and employer. Will these expectations be delivered? Certainly. So, in the Kronobank system, there's several funds, the guarantee fund and different insurance funds, to make sure that the, 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 the currency remains stable. If for something bad happens and certain, uh, certain organizations do default uh, on, on what they owe, then there are funds to mitigate that risk and ensure the system remains stable. What is the difference between time tokens and labor hour tokens? Why do you actually need two coins of tokens? So the labor hour tokens are the, the fundamental currency. They the, represent one hour of, of a person's time at, at average wage. The time tokens are specifically for raising money and for getting the platform off the ground. Uh, you know, building a system like this takes takes a lot of work, uh, and and the initial capital investment to uh, get all of the insurance and the guarantee funds going uh, to to raise the money for that, we sell the time tokens, and and that's basically it. They're like the share time tokens are the shares, where labor hour to labor hour tokens are the actual tokens themselves. To use the labor hour tokens during the ICO, do you mean, or? Um, well, because labor hour tokens haven't been invented yet, basically. So, in order to create labor hour tokens, Corona Bank has to uh, have a deal with uh, a labor offering company that, uh, that will actually provide the labor that backs those tokens. So, until those deals are organized, uh, Corona Bank is unable to produce the tokens. Third stage in the Kronobank's agenda is being noted as the creation of the Labour X exchange. What are its technical characteristics? What do you aim to achieve by applying the decentralized system? Uh, the Labour X hasn't been completely designed in full yet. Uh, it's still definitely a work in progress. It's the second stage. But the idea of it is to remove the need of uh, uh, labour offering companies to back the tokens. If individuals can actually offer their own labour, um, and then they can work directly for, um, for, for labor hours. Uh, LaborX is a system that is, is designed to facilitate that. Thank you, Luke. We continue.